These are the bees that lived in the walls of Tweed's house on the hills at Waitahuna. This little video created by the children of Waitahuna School, just inland from Milton, telling the tale of a bee swarm found in the walls of a nearby house, which then saw the bees moved to a purpose-built hive, and teaching the local school children the art of beekeeping in the process. One of our local families had the swarm of bees actually in their house, and so then when we found that, um, Dana and Megan, our beekeepers, asked if we could um, create a hive. So we decorated a hive and those actual bees were put into our hive this year and yeah, they produced very well. The pupils created this video of the beehive as part of their digital curriculum. It tells of how the wild swarm was domesticated and pupil Beth Homer says they made little drawings of the characters to move along step by step for the animated movie. We put like the magnets on the characters and then we like we put them on and then we on the stop motion thing, we press the photo then we move them every time. So then at the end it comes out like a little video. Pupil Lockie Walk says editing the sound was one of the hardest parts of the whole project and required swapping over to a different computer. The audio was quite challenging was the first time we did it on the computer it came out and the end part it didn't stop and it's told me saying it didn't work then um, we changed it onto the iPad and it worked quite well. The son of the beekeepers who removed the wild bees from the house says they've collected many jars worth of honey. We're putting labels on them and selling them. Blackmore says domesticating the wild swarm has been a good learning opportunity for the school. Just knowing how life works, knowing how businesses work, how businesses market themselves and you know this the story of farming bees really and farming honey. I mean most of them are farm children and they can see it as a business and hopefully at the end they get to see the um, finance that's created from it. The school now has almost 200 jars of honey which are for sale as a fundraiser for the school. In Waitahuna, the South today. Waitahuna honey. Waitahuna honey's the best.